guys, it's me, Pooh Bear 253, and we're back home. Yay! So excited, so excited. And there is Hubby bringing in our luggage. And funny story, you guys. I'm going to go through all the hauls and stuff later. But I tell you guys, it looks like we're about to get hit by one heck of a storm. We got in, we checked the mail. We just saw like a couple little minor drops or whatnot. We come in the house and come back outside to this. <laughs> so, it, we have a really bad storm a, a brewing. Really bad. So, yeah, so I'm going back inside. I mean, we came inside, set the alarm. Unset the alarm, let the cats out, came back outside to get all the luggage and everything, and whoosh, pour down. I'll give you guys a quick little update on Grandma. They're the kitties. I just saw her. Um, it wasn't visiting hours, but I begged the lady to let me see her since I had just came back um, from out of town. And she said, sure. So I went and talked to her, and I told her about our trip, and... How much I worried about her and how much I love her and I missed her. And I told her that um, Cedric spoiled me and let me have a shopping spree and everything in Texas. And I gave her her little plaque that said Houston on it that I got her. And um, I got her a nightgown and a little robe. And I was like, Grandma, I'm going to take it home and I'm going to wash it up nice for you. And when you're ready to wear it, you can wear it. And uh, she just kind of opened her eyes and closed her eyes, but it's like she wasn't really there, you know. It was kind of like this like blank stare, and her eyes looked gray to me. They looked gray, so I don't know. She kind of moved her legs a little bit, and like they were saying to try and get her to do direct things, like, Grandma, can you hear me? Can you squeeze my hand? And she squeezed your hand right then, you know, that's a good sign. But she hasn't been doing that yet. So I held her hand and I let her feel her nightgown and her plaque that I got her, but she didn't squeeze or anything like that. The only thing I got was her moving her legs and she kind of just opened her eyes and closed her eyes. And the swelling on her brain still hasn't gone down yet. She was running a temperature and everything. They were saying that the part of the brain that was damaged with the side that she had the stroke on that's the side of the brain that controls body temperature. So they had like a fan on her and like a cool towel on her head. And it's like she hasn't gotten any worse, but she hasn't really gotten much better. So we're still just kind of waiting to see. And my mom, I talked to my mom and my aunt. And it seems everybody's kind of, you know, kind of, eh, you know, like just don't really know. And my um my great uncle Prince uh, passed Friday. That's my mom and my aunts, their their uncle and my grandma's her brother. So he passed Friday. He was on dialysis, but he his system was too weak for the dialysis, and they took him off. And he just kind of they just kind of let him go peacefully, like. And he um, he went uh, home to be with Jesus uh friday um me and my hubby's anniversary so yeah so my mom is going to visit them in this huge storm we were just trying to come home to eat and get something to drink and uh, and use the restroom and everything because we just got off the interstate we went straight to the hospital to see my grandma but that's pretty much what i got so far so uh, you guys are probably about to see a lot of videos uploaded because I uploaded all my videos. I just set them to private, so I'm about to unprivate all my videos. So, because I didn't want anybody to know that I'm like out of town, you know, type of stuff. When you're not home, you just, yeah, you know, anyway. So, I'm going to unprivate all those, upload this video, and I'll be back with the hauls. Alright, love you guys. Bye.